Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Thank you guys for tuning in to Red Up Tarot with Renee. Today, I'm doing your weekend reading for the weekend of April 16th um, through the 18th, 2021. You guys, I'm sorry I'm getting this video out late. It's been so chaotic. I'm trying to get it together. <laughs> You guys, if you're new to, to the channel, thank you guys for tuning in. Please make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button, okay? Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Not all readings will resonate with you, so um, just take the energies um, as they um, fit your story, okay? And leave the rest as well. There's no gender in tarot, guys, okay? Thank you guys, thank you guys. Let's get into it, Cancers. I'm ready. Y'all ready? All right. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Our week so far. Going into an amazing weekend, I should say. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me clear, honest messages for the sign of Cancer and love. Give me clear. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. Two of Swords. I know. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Give me more spirit for cancer and love. Go ahead. One more. Two more. Okay. Three. Okay. Five. That's fine. Let's get into it. Okay. We've got the Knight of Cups. And we've got the Ace of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So somebody has decided to forgive and have a new start. Um, we have the Knight of Cups. Um, that's the Ten of Swords in reverse. And then we have with the Knight of Cups, somebody wants to come in um, with the love offer or, or some type of romantic proposal. Um, yeah. And they're, they're heavily inspired Um to do this, right? Also got the Page of Pentacles. Um, they want to bring in some good news. Um, possibly <laughs> the news of the fact that they want the Ten of Cups with you, right? So they want the whole shebang, right? So they're coming out of the Ten of Swords, meaning that they're coming out of this burden, this burden, this burdensome um, regret, okay? They're, they're coming out of you know, carrying this heavy load and they're ready to move forward, right? And right after that, we have the Knight of Cups. So that's great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify these. Um, okay. Let's see what comes out here. Um, for the overall energy. I mean, for the overall energy thus far, though, Cancer, this is really good news. Okay, this could be you or your person um, that's doing this. Um in the past um there could have been some heavy burdens um that kept your person broken um or i don't know if there was any deception well it could have been deception but let's just see um could have been it was definitely some heavy burdens but whatever those burdens were it sounds like if they're coming out of regret and they're like willing to move forward and forgive the past it's like that's what they're doing whatever happened in the past there you go the sun they're forgiving the past mm -hmm. thank you spirit i didn't get to say clarify yeah yeah they want the sun we have the sun card on the board right so something that's been illuminated maybe they had an aha moment and they're seeing things in a new perspective, right? With the sun card there, I'm looking for basically a successful outcome, right? They want to move forward. You know, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Thank you. Will of fortune, the will is turning absolutely in you or your person's favor. Uh-huh. And we got the 10 here. We got the 10 here. And we got the 10 of swords in reverse. So we got three tens on the board, guys. That's amazing, right? They want to give you an offer with this page of pentacles, but it seems like it could be small. Could be dealing with a child as well, or a child could be involved here in this connection. But let's see, the Hierophant, this part, yeah, the Hierophant, this is, you know, the religious card we say in tarot. Yeah, your person is um, definitely, has definitely had a change of heart here. Whatever their belief was in the past or whatever they whatever happened in the past your person felt like they couldn't forgive they're basically surrendering um 
to the connection with the Ten of Wands. They're letting go of all of the past hurt, burdens, and everything. Yeah, we got the star falling out there. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Aquarian energy. Absolutely. Wow. Thank you. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Cancer. Who's coming in with this offer to Cancer? Okay, go ahead. Because I see you. Mm -hmm. You're a messenger. Yeah, definitely coming in with a message, right? <laughs> Speak your truth. Okay. You're your person. Yeah, they're single now. They're, they're coming in to let you know that they're single. Mm -hmm. They're going to tell you this truth. You probably didn't know this. Yeah, your person you or your person could have been married or whatever. And now they, they're they going to face, like, they're ready for judgment, right? They're, they're, or they made a judgment call on this connection. Absolutely. Yeah, they could have went through some past karma too as well. Judge, uh, judgment could be karma. This is karmic justice, um, right? But in this case, I, I feel like they're coming in with the judgment. They have some clarity. They want to bring you clarity on the situation. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Oh, see, you flipped, you flipped, you flipped. Yeah, temperance. Yeah, they were patiently waiting. Sagittarian energy. Yeah, there's another flipper. Okay, here we go. I'll take you. I'll take you. Yeah, they want a happy home. Absolutely, they do because the Ten of Cups is here. I'm going to put that right with the Ten of Cups. Yep. What's the Page of Pentacles? What's the Page of Pentacles, Spirit? Yeah. Or, yeah. They're grounding themselves. Mm hmm They're gonna that's Taurus um Virgo Capricorn energy. They could you or your person could have any one of those signs in your chart. Taurus Capricorn and Virgo energy. Yeah, but Earth, when it comes out, it's usually that your person is grounding themselves to come forward with this offer, this page of pentacles. Now, a page is just that, a page, right? So don't get too excited over this page. <laughs> right this this page of pinnacles right they definitely want to work together with you on something whatever and um hold on i'm just getting the downloads here um they definitely want to work with work together with you on something or whatever um they or for some of you for some of you your person um wants to bring in some type of um I don't want to say gift, but some type of like positive, like news about like what's been going on with them. And you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like small talk, right? You know, like nothing, nothing too excited. Now with the Knight of Cups, now the Knight of Cups, they do want to come, it's saying that they want to come up with the romantic offer. But here's the thing about Knights, Knights are flighty. So it's not coming in as a King of Cups or an Emperor. You know, yeah, codependency was an issue in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the reason why I'm saying this like this, guys, to not get too excited. I mean, it's great. It's positive energy moving forward. But what I'm saying is a Knight, a knight of Cups is like they want to come out with a romantic gesture or whatever. But it's not something that I'm feeling thus far in a reading that's like something strong and solid. Now, if your person was coming in with that king of cups energy or emperor then i would be like okay now never going somewhere right now i feel like your person whatever happened in the past um there was definitely some regret there or whatever because they're coming into this forgiveness energy or you are in this forgiveness energy for your person take the you know take it how it resonates you tell me your story in the comments but um at this point you or your person it's like i'm really getting this is your person's energy um dev it could be your energy for some of you guys, but a lot of you guys, it's your person. They want to offer, they want a romantic, they want to bring a romantic gesture, but that's just that. It's just romance, cancer, energy. Mm -hmm. There could have been, um, you know, some type of codependency in the past, which is saying here, you know, any type of addictions, whether it was, you know, just drug I don't I hate saying drugs it's like it's just so cliche but you know what I'm saying like any like a, it could be alcohol addiction sex addiction um addictive to just like bad behavior being a bad boy bad girl you know what I'm saying 
any type of codependency. Yeah, a tower was definitely bought. Are they come? Are they experienced the tower recently from being away from you? Right. They're definitely um, patience was definitely needed here in this connection for sure. Um, let's see more. Give me more. Clarify spirit. I mean, <laughs> clarify spirit. <laughs> clarify temper spirit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> spirit is just like, I am. I am Spirit. Yeah, Pisces energy. So we got Cancer and Pisces on the bottom. We just put these all over here so I could just keep them lined up. Yeah, and fast, all you need is water. Yeah, your, pro your person is probably like, like stress eating <laughs> or something like that or whatever. Or maybe you have been over this connection. And then um, Spirit is also saying, don't focus on monetary issues. Focus on Spirit. Yeah, exactly. Because, and, and your person could be coming back. Mm -hmm. This is like, let's get into it. When this card comes out, you or your person could have been stressing over money, right? In the past, in the relationship, they could have been codependent on you or you, your person, um, you know, for like financial support or something like that or whatever. But whatever happened, I, you, there's a tower moment here um, that um, caused a break in the connection or whatever. Or the tower also could have been that aha moment that they had. It's just like, I need to go back to my cancer. I miss my cancer or whatever. Yeah. The chariot card. We got cancer and energy on the board. Cancer again. Yeah. They're coming. Clearly they're coming. Yeah. Give me more spirit. Give, oh, okay. Jumper. Yeah. The hangman. Mm hmm. Yeah. So now they've come like they're sacrificing something, but they've also, like I said, they had a different, they have now a different perspective on this connection, which is why the 10 of, uh, the 10 of swords is in reverse because now it's just like, damn, they could have held some type of grudge or your person, uh, against one another or something like that or whatever for whatever happened, um, in the connection. Right. But Y'all know me, and if you follow my channel, you know I'm about to get into the hood story, right? So before I get deep off into the hood story, let me just put these uh, money issues. We've got codependency. These are all. I'm gonna put these here. This isn't important. Maybe this is important because they definitely want to come in and have a happy home with you, right? Um, not sure if this is a soul connection. It could be karmic, or whatever. Um. But yeah, hold on just one second, guys. Let me just send somebody this really quick. Um, hold on, I'm sorry, guys. It's like, let me do this an hour. Okay. Okay, I had to send that off. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so your person is definitely coming out of this energy. So whatever um, perception that they had about the connection or whatever happened in the past, now they've had a change of heart or you've had a change of heart, right? And um, now they want this Ace of Wands. They want to come in with this love. You know what I'm saying? But as a knight, you know, it could be just that. You know, they may come in with this in and out energy. So I'm not really for sure trusting like, you know, they may be here for um, a short time and not a long time type energy. <laughs> right? And, um, and if that's the case... For some of you guys, you don't want that. Like, you want the whole thing, right? You This could be your energy where you want a happy home or whatever. And I think they want a happy home too. But as a knight in a page, it's just like... It's just like, what else do you want? Do you want to come in and you, you need money? Or like, you know, because we have codependency here on the board. So this could be the energy as well. They're single now. They could have been in a karmic relationship before. Um... But I don't see any, um, I'm, I'm in this energy, you guys, because I'm not seeing any, um, any, any, any strong, like, you know, lover's cards or anything like that pop out. That's, you get what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, uh, okay, like this is your energy now, but what is it going to be like down the line? You know what I'm saying? Just the way the cards are fall falling out. Okay. So let's see what the current energy before I go into the hood. I'm um, sorry, Cancers. Let's just see what um, the current energy between you and your person is. 
right? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me honest messages for the current connection between Cancer and their person in love. What is their current energy right now, right? Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, prosperity lies ahead, right? Okay. So that's for some of you guys, you're going to have some type of abundance. So yeah, and this prosperity you guys like i said spirit said don't focus on money issues focus on spirit yeah so if you're worried about money a spirit is saying here with this card prosperity lies ahead so don't even worry about the money it's gonna come okay yeah and communication is key when your person comes in this page of pentacles with this one little coin <laughs> in his hand like boom i'm just like <laughs> i'm so mean huh like i mean i'm just saying let, let me let me get an emperor or something to fall out then or a king. I, then I'll be a little bit more excited. <laughs> Give me more spirit. Yeah. That new and the communi communication of key is the new moon in Gemini. So you could be dealing with the Gemini and prosperity lies ahead as new moon in Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Mm -hmm. And but spirit is also saying the win win outcome is in the forecast. Full moon in Libra. Hello. All right. So whatever the case may be, whatever you guys talk about when your person comes forward, um, Spirit is saying that, you know what, whether whichever direction you decide to go in, sorry, this car fell on the floor. Spirit's got your back and you're going to win regardless, right? But listen, emotions are running high. Didn't I say, yeah, your person is prob like, probably also nervous coming in, right? Um, meditate and contemplate. Mm -hmm. New moon in Pisces. Yeah, and emotions run the high as the super moon. And then we have you're very close to achieving your goal, right? Gibbous moon. Okay, so for some of you guys, <clears throat> you're really worried about um your um um your stability, right? Um, and if you or your person was codependent in the past, that I could see why this would come out. Um, because if this, if this connection caught, if caused your person to leave or you leave or something like that, and it caused any type of financial burden, I could see how, you know, this will be a concern, um, uh, about where your prosperity lies. Right. Um, so don't worry about that. Spirit is saying meditate, contemplate on it or whatever, but however the case, um, in this situation, your person's coming back, but they're highly emotional as well now. And I believe that too. We got cancer on the board. Pisces came out or uh, whatever. And so we already have two energies of water, um, on the board and, um, child Scorpio fallout. Then I know something. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so this is what's going on in the current energy, right? So emotions is running high for you and your person. Uh, most likely your person, um, or whoever this is affecting more, um, whether you're the divine feminine or masculine in this situation, right? So let's see. All right, let's go into the whole story because I want to know um, what what needed to be forgiven, or what had your person have a change of heart, and now they're willing want now they want to forgive, and now they want this um, quote unquote happy home with you, <laughs> cancers. <laughs> You guys tell me what your story is. What happened? What happened? And you know what though? But I'm gonna say the energy overall is like good because if you're if there was like any type of tension or something like that and you feel like you couldn't forgive your person for what they did or vice versa, and you know, you guys really want to be together, you know, or try to give it a second go around, it's good to be in that energy of forgiveness. So for for that, I'd say that's really great, right? It's just that I think with it just being a Knight of Cups and then a Page of Pentacles, it's just like kind of like um, you're not too sure. In and out. That It's giving me that in and out type of energy. Hopeful that everything works out with the star being here and the sun. The sun is also just about illumination as well. I mean, it also brings joy and all of that too. But it's also saying that something is going to be illuminated, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you have the star energy as well, um, you know, there's like a renewal, right? Whatever you were unsure of before, clear is definitely something's about to be clarified. So you do have clarification coming towards you, especially with that um, Ace of Wands, right? Like you're going to have that clarity. Something is going to be brought to justice. Give me more spirit of the backstory. Thank you. Alyssa already... 
Who's all these people? <laughs> Thank you, V. Mm, mm. Who's all these people, Spirit? What's the backstory for Cancers in Love? Give me more. Don't worry, I'm gonna read them. Yeah, didn't I say they were gonna surrender? Thank you, that's it. Um, didn't I say your person was surrendering? Mm-hmm, I said that earlier. And that they're ready to come forward and speak their truth or whatever, and they're surrendering to whatever, yeah, their fears. Yeah, surrender your fears and let go. Could be dealing with initials S, first, middle, last years are there. Yeah, they've been struggling with fears, letting go of past trauma. It could be financial, and that could be you or your person, right? Because like it says here, focus on spirit. Um, Don't focus on monetary issues, but focus on spirit. Yeah. So yeah, somebody's been struggling financially in this situation. That's what that's just clarifying. Regret and grief. Yeah. Somebody has been like overthinking sleepless nights about this situation. Could be dealing with a Capricorn earth and there's earth again. Yeah. But somebody wants to bring healing to this connection and bring this happy home back again. And now you, they're seeing the single card came out, which means that you, your person could have been they could have been in another connection and another third party connection or something like that and now they're single or or this could be your energy or um this could have been like your ex like you know what i'm saying but they're they're like still single or they're you know they never connected reconnected with someone something like that and for some of you guys this could be your counterpart leo fire energy mm -hmm. dealing with o V, initials V, I, to be a Virgo. Yeah, they want to reconcile. Yeah, after this tower came sh uh, crashing down. Because there definitely was a tower moment from before, right? There's a tower. You see it. Yeah, so, yeah, I could be dealing with initials E. I said that already. Yeah, they were in some type of devil energy before. It could have been a very toxic relationship abusive, controlling, negative, bad behavior. Like I said, you know, who knows? You guys tell me. Initials A, water. Didn't I say this person? This emotions are here because then we have Cancer Pisces and Scorpio on our board. Pisces and Cancer came out earlier. Yeah, but you are intuitive. You are, you are your person, but I think it's you, Cancer, right? High priestess energy. Yes. Trust your gut and reveal secrets because um, they're hiding something, right? That when an intuitive card comes out, they were hiding something from you in the past. Could be dealing with initials U, R, right? Ooh, transforming. Look, U, R, A, spirit. I love that. U, R, transformation. Transforming into a new cycle. Yes, you are, Cancer, right? But at the moment, you guys are mirroring each other and you're in stuck energy. So that means that there's been no communication and if there has been communication it's been little to to none you get and also too with the mirroring each other this is also to the i always say i like to say this is the i spy card i'm gonna do this on my new deck because i have new cards coming um new backstory cards this is the i spy like somebody you guys have been looking at each other following each other on social media but probably not following like with the follow button but just like sneaking on each other's pages seeing what the other person is doing who they would who you know all that extra you know could be dealing with the air sign Gemini, uh gemini libra or aquarius a w mm -hmm, and d right yeah these are the people this is the energies and all of that any one of these um any one of these um, signs could be either in your chart or in your person's chart, okay? So, yeah, you guys, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me. But let me get you guys some um, angel um, oracle uh, messages from Spirit, okay? See how you guys want to move forward in this connection, right? Yeah. And really think about this, too, because if you or your person was in, like, codependent in the past or whatever like you really depended on them for whatever vice versa or if there was any type of like strong addictions or things like that um no matter what it is you know be mindful moving forward in this connection if you want to really truly have this in the cups in this happy home okay all right get some big cards <laughs> All right, goodbye, spirit, Holy Spirit. Give me honest angel oracle messages for cancers in love. Give me advice. 
angel advice for cancers in love with this connection with their person. Okay, okay, okay. You don't want to give me mine? Okay, flip them. Yeah. Oh, Spirit has said it could be a success though. Mm hmm. And if you believe. All right, Spirit. Well, thank you. Yeah, if you believe. And for some of you guys, it just needs to be something that needs probably, it seems like a reboot and a restart, right? And then happy home too. For some of you guys, you could, this could be your counterpart or whatever. You know, maybe you guys have been in separation. You're married to this person and, um, you know, you or your person, like somebody wants to come back home, <laughs> right? And for some of you guys, Spirit is saying this is not the right time though, mm. right? Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. And don't stop what you're doing. So whatever you're doing right now, Spirit is saying don't stop. Okay? Don't stop what you're doing. You know what that is? I don't. But these are just the messages that Spirit wants to let you guys know. Okay? All right, loves. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Life Tarot with Renee. And um, make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can happily do so at Real Life Tarot via Cash App. And the um, link to my Cash App is in the description box below. Thanks, guys. And see you next time. Bye.